Hello, good people. My name is Njagasona. Today we will be doing Kuku. Um, Kuku is um, it's a West African beat from a Maninka family, and um, Maninkas are all over West Africa, and uh, it's the same tribes, it's the same surnames, it's the same language they speak, and it's the same music they play all over the place. So for saying that, Kuku was originally performed and sell it to celebrate women coming from the fields and playing well, f from fishing, coming home or during fishing or during collecting their harvest, harvesting their catch, they would kind of be played cuckoo. I think that used to motivate them as well because cuckoo's got this nice bounce. It's an easy bit to play. So that is what we're getting at with cuckoo. Let's not complicate things. And cuckoo is just, um, why cuckoo is popular is because it's easy to play. And I find most of the easiest things on this planet are just easy. Most of the best things in this planet are easy things, yeah? Best music is the easiest music, yeah? So, without complicating cuckoo, it's just from the women coming from the fields. Let's pretend they are right now. So, we're going to learn it, yeah? With you. So, we're going to... Cuckoo's got... Cuckoo is very versatile, but the original version of cuckoo is very simplistic. It's like the introduction... One beat, first accompaniment, and then you get the second accompaniment, outro. That's cuckoo, but you can extend that to play it as long as you want. What I'm going to try and do today is try and do the original part of it and, and, and have different versions of it for people that are kind of new to it or improving in it can kind of benefit from it, yeah? So there you go. This is cuckoo, as we all know, and cuckoo just starts with the same thing again. As we explain, tone, slap, bass, yeah? Slap, bass, yeah? Tone, slap, bass. So we're gonna use tones when it's close, like that, tone. For the start of cuckoo, is again, yeah? Pim, 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 yeah? Then it starts. So, if you're a beginner, that we will get to, but if you're not a beginner, you don't need to practice this. You, you know what this is, yeah? So, starting cuckoo, we go with the tones, yeah? Again, you can start with flam tone, yeah? That, yeah? Flam tone again. Ready? Go. And again. And again. So basically, that's the start of cuckoo. Um, cuckoo is a very, very easy beat. So that's the start of cuckoo, originally. Unless people put their stint. I've got my stint to cuckoo, which I teach in schools. Kids love it. Everybody loves cuckoo, yeah? Because it's easy to play, you know? From zero to something, cuckoo can do that. So that's the start of cuckoo. Again, after you've done that, you come to the first accompaniment of cuckoo, which is like you start with the slap, yeah? Slap. That is slap, yeah? So you go slap, bass, and then tone, tone. Yeah? Like that. Yeah? Slap, bass, tone, tone, and uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So you got prim pitim pim pitim pim pim ta dun ta ta ka dun ka ta ka dun ka ta ka dun ta ta. Yeah. So you do that, then that's fine. So put the two together. It should give us. Cuckoo. Okay, now let's get back to the introduction of cuckoo. Back to the first part. Get used to it. Learn cuckoo. You can learn cuckoo in five minutes or ten minutes. Yes, yeah? even if you have never played before. Okay, now, right. What we can do now? Again, go back to the start. Verify what we've just done. Ready? Two, 
three, four. Second part of that's the first part of Coco, the first accompaniment, yeah. So mm. and that's the first part. Now, what we're gonna do, get straight to the second part of Coco and then get to the outro of Coco, which is the same introduction. So what we do, the second part of Cuckoo is a little bit trickier than the first part of Cuckoo because it involves slaps on both hands and tones on both hands. So, so if you go turn, turn, slap, turn, turn, slap, yeah? That's how you do that. Again, what we were talking about, alternating your hands helps sometimes, most of the time, or in fact, every time if you can, yeah? So. It's the second accompaniment of Kuku, originally. You put the two together, it's the harmony it brings. It's very vibrant. It's like a simplicity at its best, yeah? I don't know who has created that, but I would love, love to meet that man because he would have been a very simple person. Nothing complicated, yeah? So, let's get back to the introduction, the, to the second um, beat of Kuku. Again, if we go tone tone, yeah, tone tone, again. Now you go tone tone slap, yeah? And again. And again. And again. So, put to pa, put to pa, yeah? Introduction of Goku. Yeah. And then and then then It's cuckoo. Now it's nothing else to it unless you add your own stint to it, which we can do, which anybody else can do. But again, if we slowly start cuckoo from the top to the end, we will just get used to it. If you're new to this stuff, if you're not, this would be walk in the park, yeah? So it's like, now what we do is again, start from the top to the end. Introduction, first beat, introduction, second beat, outro yeah that's cool cool so ready you're gonna try this two three go For instance, I play the second accompaniment, and you, I'm looking at, or you're looking at me, is playing the first accompaniment. What all you have to do is first accompaniment slap, tone bass and tone tone, yeah, yeah, and uh huh. So that I'll say is yours. That's learning it. I will just do the other, then you can hear yourself and probably me. So this is what we're going to try and do. If I'm too loud or you too loud, you know, do it in a way you can hear it. Just learn. It's very important to kind of those for, learn for those things. Right. So if you go and... Yeah. 
and I'm going right so I'm gonna start with the second accompaniment and I expect you guys to start with the first yeah yeah and keep it going keep it going keep it going that pace yeah uh-huh I'm going faster and then I hope you followed it through yeah it goes like that that's fantastic if you've done that well done to you yeah so what we're gonna do now is um hence we've got our old cuckoo what I did with cuckoo for years in schools yeah it's just like break the introduction give them more of yeah you can teach that quickly but you know for extended the all the beats of it like basic beats nothing fancy here yeah we just learn it so what we do is what i would suggest now we know what cuckoo is the original cuckoo introduction first accompaniment and then you get the second introduction again second accompaniment then you have the outro yeah there's nothing more to it yeah what is down to it depends on who is playing it what their capabilities are that is jambi music straightforward stuff so now let's play the original cuckoo one more time before we go and break things down right so now cuckoo is a very nice beat so what we're gonna do is play it again yeah slowly remember two three go I would learn I would teach people how I would teach cuckoo to beginners or improvers again Mama Diketa has played cuckoo we all seen it huh? the great grandmaster his version of it is like with the dooms of course and again Then you go to the cuckoo. Yeah? That brings the whole dimension into another planet. Yeah? So, but cuckoo is just what I just showed you before. But what I just showed you uh, with meant by mentioning Mama Niketa is he played it like that. Me, I taught it like this. So let's learn that. And if you want to learn that other one, we'll come back to it. Yeah? But let's go to mine first. What we do, instead, what I would do with cuckoo starting is like the flam. I use it as five beat there, like yeah, da 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 da. Simple, yeah. Then and and one more. Then bass, bass, bad. That's my introduction of cuckoo when I'm teaching it to kids. Yeah? Or oh, adults that are improvers. Ready? Let's do that again. So it goes like da 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 bass 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 yeah da 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 and bass 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 and da 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 and bass 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 two three go and Again, and 
one more. And that makes you three, yeah? Three of those. One. Uh-huh. And one more. And then you go to the bass. Again. Back. That I use a lot to whatever I do because I love it. I created it, yeah? Me. Younger son, I did that one. So now let's go and do this, yeah? Two, three, again. And one. And one more. And bass. Bass. Clam. Now, this is all we need to learn to do the, the cuckoo, yeah? So we already learned the beat, the first accompaniment. Yeah. Now let's add this to what I just taught you, yeah? Two, three, slowly go. And one. Uh-huh. One more. Then bass. Bass. Slam. And Jagger's Kuku, yeah? What we could do is get back to the original Kuku. fast cuckoo goes is up to the player some players can go as fast as a Ferrari yeah that's they can yeah if you can't try to go as fast as you possibly can until you whacked out until you're tired yeah that always improves stuff so let's get back to basics with it yeah so we're gonna go play why don't we that's we already know what the original is so let's play that now and get used to custom ourselves to it and then try to break it down yeah okay so, that's the first part of Kuku, yeah? And then slap. One. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more. And then. Now, let's just put what if you are a beginner, what I just showed you before that introduction. It's simple, it's all yeah. That's that version of it. Well, that's another version, just like that. We get the octave up, it's a different animal, so it's like. that back again is yeah so what I'm trying to say is people play African beats differently into their own ways yeah so if you learn an African beat learn the norm 
and always put your own stint to it. That grows you faster. Yeah, that's my point. That's my take on it. Okay, so now let's get back to it. Let's do that order. Now we've got three different accompaniments. Yeah, Mama Decatur one. all goes on that's the first one the second one before mine goes like this mm. that's the first one now second one yeah Second one, mine that I use with kids, yeah. <laughs> one, aha, one more, and bass, bass, clam. Then you get to your beat, yeah. You got all those options, but push come to stuff, start with what is original, learn the originalities of it, improve on that originality. Build your empire around that originality, then you become a lot more versatile and easy. Yeah, so which brings us back to let's get back to the original part of cuckoo. Yeah, one more. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See people putting the popper into cook cook. I did it myself for years, yeah. That you can put into cuckoo. You can have a third accompaniment for cuckoo, but originally that's not the case, yeah. I've never seen it played originally like that, but you can put that in it, yeah. I'm just this is, again brings me back to what I was trying to say. The originality of cuckoo we play, simple. Very easy beat, very accessible beat for the ear, for the mind, for everything else. I know this because I've done it for over 20 something years in schools, yeah? So what we do, right, what we do is start that cuckoo again. The original cuckoo. That one. Two, three, go. yeah really fast because you played for women you better do that right or else you ain't gonna get no fish <laughs> so <laughs> let's just kind of up the pace a bit yeah <laughs> okay two three go accompaniments try and learn them but this is the originality of cuckoo or learn the original 
Make it your own. You can. Yeah? Ready? Again, a little bit faster. Same thing, this got more solos like again, that's just the dooms, yeah, and again. Thank you very much people that's cool, cool the simplicity of this beat is vast i said everybody plays cool, cool. you can put cool, cool in a lot of treble clefs in jazz especially blues you know order you can put cool, cool in gese in gambia you can cook, put cool, cool in afro manding yeah in gambia you can put cool, cool into uh what you call it again I, even in malach yeah because it, 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 all the beats yeah it's all you know west africa used to be one empire so that still carries on in that perspective what it is now is i have to say bye for now and hope you enjoyed kuku and if you have any questions please comment below yeah we'll be quite happy to answer it for you right now, one more time and that'll be it. We're going, yeah? Ready? Original. Two, three, go!
Hello, folks. The versatility of this is it's just like having um, chicken, you know? You get your chicken, you get anything. It depends how you spice it up. Yeah, but chicken is chicken at the end of the day. So that's cool, cool in that form. Happy people. I'll see you again. Hope you had fun and this is a good one. Thank you.